A high-ranking army official mauls placing Sulu province under martial law after the attack of two suicide bombers in Holo. Meanwhile, the military sets its eye on Abu Sayyaf leader and bomb expert Bundi Sawajan as one of the suspects in yesterday's attack. Ryan Ang tells us more. Philippine Army Chief Lieutenant General Sirilito Sobehana is recommending to place the entire Sulu province under martial law following the twin roadside blast in Holo on Monday. According to Sobehana, enforcing martial law will help bring back normalcy to the area after 14 victims died following the attack of two suicide bombers in Barangay Walled City. His recommendation for martial law in Sulu will have to go through the military's chain of command and be endorsed by Defense Secretary Delfino Renzana before submitting it to President Duterte. Meanwhile, the Western Mindanao Command is now on a manhunt for Abu Sayyaf leader and bomb expert Mundi Sawadjaan, the same person behind the Holo Cathedral and in Danan bombings. West Bincom Chief Major General Corleto Binluan said it was Sawadjaan's group that was under the monitoring of four AFP intelligence officers that were killed by local police in Sulu last June. For its part, the National Capital Region Police Office is ramping up its security measures in public places following Monday's twin blast. NCRPO Chief Debold Sinas ordered his district directors to tighten security around airports, seaports, train stations, malls and other places of convergence. After the, the bombing incident, uh, we already alerted our uh, different district on the bombing incident and to monitor sa lugar kung meron bang ano, galing ng sa hulo pumunta dito sa atin. Uh, we have also directed our Intel uh, community and uh, our chief Intel to coordinate with their counterparts in case may mga, may mga galing sa Mindanao pumasok dito. Titan security is also enforced in President Duterte's hometown, Davao City. Aside from the regular checkpoints, they also conduct random checkpoints and inspections. In Kalinan Checkpoint, police ask motorists their origin and destination. Davao City police chief said even if there is no alarming threat monitored, they should not be complacent. Naglagay kami ng uh, random checkpoint. Nagsimula ito kagabi. So, makaka-experience tayo ng mga uh, inspection thoroughly. At uh, syempre, magkakaroon ng konting traffic. House Deputy Speaker and Basidan Loan Representative Bojib Hataman notes that the twin blast in Holo Sulu on Monday that has killed 14 individuals will put the anti-terrorism law to the test. Hataman hopes to see the measures work without any abuse or misuse amid critics' concern on indiscriminate arrest and violation of human rights. For News 5, Ryan Ang, We Are One News.